Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. took Janelle 12.75 hours to read a book. She read the same amount of time each day for five days. What was the total amount of time in hours she spent reading the book each day? All right, so let's get our graph draw feature out here. And we need to make a little bit of a strip diagram here. And the key is going to be, what do we do with our five in our 12.75. Do we multiply them? Do we divide them? Add them? Subtract them? What options do we have here? So it took Janelle 12.75 or 12 and 75 hundredths hours to read a book. Now it doesn't say total, but this definitely sounds like a total because if I get a number larger than this, uh, like this one is greater than this one is greater than, it's not going to make much sense, is it? Look at this. How much time, it's asking, did she spend reading the book each day? If that's my total, then I can't read more time each day than the actual total. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and eliminate these two answers, C and D. Because my total, it, how long it took her to read the book? 12 and 7,500 hours. So she read the same amount of time each day. Okay, so the same amount of time each day. There we go. Equal groups. So as you get farther and farther in your education, you are going to become more and more aware of a word problem that wants you to do something with equal groups. The same amount of time each day is equal groups. And that means we're going to multiply or we're going to divide. So... Let's draw a strip diagram here. What's my total? I've got 12 and 75 hundredths. How many equal groups do I have? Five days. Each day is an equal group. So let's chunk this into five equal days. And I'll try to make those as equal as possible. All right. So then my question is, what is the total amount of time she spent each day? So there we go. I need to know this right here. What's my total each day? All right, so when we set it up like this, it looks pretty, pretty simple. We are going to divide. We're going to divide our 1275. Divide that by 5. Let's go ahead and do this, this with a little bit of long division. So 5 will be our divisor. We're going to divide it into 12.75. That's our dividend. The only trick, if you want to call it a trick with dividing decimals, is we basically ignore the decimal in the dividend. We just bring it up here onto our division bar, and then we just pretend like it doesn't exist. We divide 5 into 12.75. So 5 goes into 12 twice. Once that decimal's up there, we're just going to kind of ignore it. So 2 times 5 is 10. All right, so we're going to get 2 left over. And then we're going to only bring down one digit at a time. So we're going to leave that 5 out there, just hanging in space. 5 goes into 27. That's going to be 5. Make sure you put that right above that 7, so that's on the other side of the decimal. And that's going to be 25. 2 left. Now we bring down the 5, and look how everything's... Lining up neatly, 2.55, 2 and 55 hundredths. Now, the inverse operation is multiplication. So if you wanted to, you could take your 2 and 55 hundredths, multiply it by 5, and you're going to get 25, 25, 27. That's 10, that's 12. Two digits behind the decimal, so let's get two digits behind the decimal. It goes back to your 12.75. So... Instead of the 2.11, let's get our correct answer of B, 2 and 55 hundredths hours.